Hi, I'm Chris with Doom Squad Airsoft. Today I want to show you Doom Devices. Uh, Doom Devices has a bunch of parts. I'll show you the, the um, I don't know, the <laughs> stage fright. Okay, this is the Device 2 button. It fits in a box. It's um, battery powered. It's got an LED strip on the top, two arcade buttons, an antenna. Uh, the whole thing pops out of this little enclosure. We've got some batteries here, uh, microcontroller, like a little PC, pretty much, um, and some power circuits, power circuitry. Anyway, yeah, it's all self-contained, which is really nice. It's got a key switch on the top. I'll turn it on now. And yep, or this way. Okay. So. Yellow means it's connecting to the game server by way of the gateway, which is also self-contained, battery powered. So that's the two button device. Um, well, what's it for? You put this on the field, on the airsoft field, on your control points. So um, this the players need to get up to this box and press the button that belongs to their team. So say I'm on red team, I run up to this box and I press and hold the red button. The, uh, the game server should be getting this information. Yep, yep, okay. We can see the progress bar is going up. The red team can't capture this device instantaneously, otherwise, I mean, they actually could. This time is configurable. Uh, the time is set for 45 seconds at the moment. It takes the red player 45 seconds to capture this uh, control point for their team. Say the red player gets shot while they're holding this. They let go of the button and we're gonna see the red indicator slowly going down. The camera makes this kind of show up as whitish but with human eyes it's very red. It's a uh, sunlight visible. Okay, so you can see it going down, but let's say uh, another red player gets back to the point and holds this button down. Once they get to 100% captured, this um, the LED strip is going to do a different animation so the player knows that they've captured. There we go. Red player has captured this point. This point now belongs to red. And blue team could get up to this point and press and hold blue to slowly decrement, decrement, I don't know how to pronounce that word, decrement down to uncaptured and then once that happens then blue would, uh, uh, it would take 45 seconds to get uh, blue, for blue to capture this point for their team. I think I made, I think that makes sense, okay. Uh, let me show you the other part. I'm a little excited about this. Uh, this is the Doom HQ. It's an app that's meant for the uh, field administrator to um, run on their phone. And this interacts with the uh, device, Doom Devices game server. So there's two different parts of this, um, this app, two main parts. It's the device list and the games list. So I'll go to the devices first. And here we can see the list of devices that exist uh, that are registered with the game server. We've got the prototype, which we were just looking at. That's this thing right here. And so if we select that one, we can see the raw data from that device. Uh, we can see that red team has uh, is controlling this this point and then there's some other options like latitude, longitude. These aren't like GPS, this is just what the administrator enters um, into the app when they're creating the device. Um, I could show you that real quick. So devices, you can create a device, device. there's three different types. Um, the public address is an upcoming feature, that's where, uh, uh, I just won't get into that right now. Anyway create a physical device, you give it the ID, which is like the title, the address 64, which is the radio um, radio ID, and then a description. But Oh yeah, and then you can pick somewhere on the map that you want it to be created. Uh, and you, you like say that 
coordinate that's in there. But we're not going to do that right now. The prototype, um, we're selecting the prototype. Oh yeah, I showed you that already. Let's go to the games. The games is the other interesting part. This is, um, the administrator could make two different games or however many they want. Um, in the future, there's going to be different types, but right now it's just uh, sector control, which is battlefield style, domination, uh, uh, what is it, Call of Duty domination, and Counter-Strike bomb defusal modes, and others are planned. But right now it's just sector control, battlefield style. So the so administrator could make several games, like one for the morning, one for the afternoon, or yeah, something like that different games with different parameters. Right now these are pretty much the same game, but Black Hawk Down is a three hour game. Operation Orange Frog is a 45 minute game. So let's go to Operation Orange Frog. You can see the game details page. At the top we can see the status. It's stopped. Status can be either started, stopped, paused, or over. After that is the points. Um, in sector control players get points for every minute they hold the control point for their team. The time on the clock is 30 minutes. Oh, I think I said 45, but it's actually 30. It's configurable to whatever you want. And then we got life cycle controls, start, stop, or start, pause, stop, and delete. Uh, stop is pretty much like a reset. So you could play the game again if you wanted. Next is the device uh, device list. That's the devices that are associated with this game. We've got prototype. The heartbeat indicator um, lets the administrator know that the device is powered on. This will slowly turn gray and then eventually black if the game server doesn't hear from a device uh, in a, like a two minutes or something. And then the RSSI indicator, this is the signal strength between the gateway and the device. So the gateway, I should mention, uh, the gateway is um, a gateway between Wi-Fi and the long range XB um, radio. These, uh, this antenna is connected to an XB radio and it's the same with the gateway. Uh, because Wi-Fi doesn't go that far, this uh, XP connects to the gateway, the gateway connects to Wi-Fi, which connects to the game server. And the game server can run uh, in the cloud, or the game server could run on the gateway itself. It's all very configurable. Configurable? Yeah, I said that right. Okay. Uh, the battery, battery acts like a battery. Um, it slowly turns red and lets the administrator know when they need to change the battery in the two button device. And we've got the uh, numbers again for capture status, blue and red. Red is capturing at the moment. This whole section is expandable. I'm clicking the wrong place. Oops. Okay. It's expandable. Um, gives us more options here. Uh, we're going to ignore this fingerprint button because it's a feature that I decided to remove. The other buttons, uh, blue remotely changes the capture status of the two button device. Right now you can see red controls the thing, red red's controlling. Uh, we could go to this uh, control panel, hit blue, we see blue, and then once we go back to the this camera view, I'll just show you that again. Uh, red, uncaptured, blue, red. So say if someone, I mean, whatever use case you have, like at lunch you want the control points to all go uncaptured, but you don't want to walk to each control point on the field, you can do that. The green button takes you to the map. If you've got multiple devices, which we don't in this game, you could hit that blue button and it'll zoom out to see all the devices, or green just zooms in on the device we were on. I'm hitting the back button. You can hit the back button on on your phone if you had this running on your phone. Um, that's it for this section. Oh, this edit just takes you to the 
device details page. Hit back. And then at the bottom we've got a game log. This is everything that's happened in the game that uh, the game server knows about. We've got different events here like um, the player pressed press the button, player released a button, uh, press. This is the server just like registering the different uh, the progress along the way between 0 and 100 and then that's the player releasing the button. This is this is the administrator pressing the capture button. For instance, let me let me do this. Uh, I'm going to push this button here. Um, red controls it at the moment. I'm going to hit blue. So I'm going to go back to this desktop view. And I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. Hitting the blue arcade button right now. I'm pressing and holding. So you can see what happens on the interface. That's the server registering the progress. And then once I release, just like that. The post game report um, is meant to be shared with the players after the game is over. You can share, uh, share that on so social media. And that just gives a rundown of everything that happened in this game. It's a little nicer formatted than what's here. That's pretty much it. I think I explained everything. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. This is a work in progress. Um, coming to an airsoft field near you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.